Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos on classification and evolution. In this video, I'll provide you with an overview of evolution. Specifically, this video will attempt to explain what evolution really is, as well as how and why it occurs. Evolution can be defined as the change in allele frequency within a population over many generations. What this means, in simpler terms, is that evolution doesn't occur to individuals, but large groups of organisms of the same species. This process doesn't occur quickly, but over many lifetimes. Given long periods of time, certain traits become more or less common in a population. The picture on this slide can provide an example of evolution and what it looks like. If a population started off with a variety of different traits, represented by different colors, and then decades later consisted of only one or two of these colors, that could constitute evolution. The frequency of the red color, representing one particular trait or allele, has increased, while the frequency of the yellow color, a different trait or allele, has disappeared entirely. The first work involving evolution was publicized in the 1800s by a man named Lamarck. Lamarck suggested that, during an animal's lifetime, advantageous characteristics could be acquired. This idea involving acquired characteristics is shown in the picture on the top set of giraffes. If they were unable to reach the top leaves, they could stretch their necks, Lamarck said, making them longer. They could then pass on these acquired traits to their offspring, who would also have longer necks. This proposal was scientifically tested and quickly rejected. Charles Darwin's idea is exhibited on the bottom set of giraffes. Some giraffes in nature are shorter, some are taller. If the short ones can't reach leaves and trees, its primary food source, then it might die. That's what the crumpled blob is supposed to be in the middle picture. Charles Darwin's idea was that over many generations, the taller giraffes would survive and reproduce, and that the population as a whole would end up with more tall giraffes and fewer shorter ones. The most widely accepted explanation for how evolution occurs was proposed by Charles Darwin and is referred to as natural selection. Natural selection explains that the world is very harsh, that there's not enough resources for every organism that is born to survive and reproduce. Organisms have differences in their characteristics, and sometimes these characteristics can provide a survival or reproductive advantage. Organisms that possess these advantages are more likely to survive, more likely to reproduce, more likely to pass on these advantageous characteristics to the next generation. The picture on the right illustrates this process. If birds like the taste of green beetles more, or if they're not as camouflaged to their surroundings, then over many generations, the population of beetles may change. Instead of the majority of the bugs being green in color, exhibited on the top, the orange-colored bug may become more and more common. While natural selection can cause evolution, so can humans' intentional influence on domesticated animals. Cows are bred to produce a bunch of milk for humans to drink. Dogs are bred for hunting, sniffing, ratting, water rescue, and just looking adorable. This intentional breeding is referred to as artificial selection and would probably not be beneficial to these organisms if they were living in the wild. This is not survival of the fittest, not natural selection. Orchids are bred for specific appearances by humans through artificial selection and are acknowledged to be some of the fastest evolving organisms on Earth. Although natural selection is not occurring, these populations are evolving because there is a change in the frequency of some trait relative to another in a population over time. That is the end of this video, Introducing Evolution. If you're interested in learning more about evolution, classification, or any other theme of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.